Hi, good morning. My name is Kubair. I am an ICCRC licensed immigration consultant, and this is my channel where we talk about Canadian immigration news, updates, things you should be doing, things you definitely should not be doing as far as the Canadian immigration process is concerned. PR applied from Bangladesh, AOR Jan 20, born, uh, blessed with newborn, and her medical is passed this October. Can I expect PPR? Well, first of all, congratulations for the baby and uh, her medical is passed in October. Can I, when can I expect PPR? Well, as I said, the initial expectation was the last quarter. And I think I explained this. If you did not watch my video yesterday about the backlogs, we did discuss in detail about this. So my initial expectation was the FSW draws or all program draws in the third quarter with on my face. Uh, so that, that prediction went out of the window, but the fact of applications being finalized and passport requests coming through over the last quarter of the year, that obviously has been happening and we've all been seeing that. Uh, it started with a very, very small, tiny trickle with only very isolated applications going through. But now we can see a lot of movement. A lot of people are getting their passport requests. Uh, I have received for my clients passport requests from 2020 already for, for quite a few of them. And we also have received for uh, remedical requests. So as you can see the movement, and if you see the medical is passed, I would say, I would say towards the end of this year, which we are already towards the end, but I would say towards December or early next year, is when you can definitely expect because that is when I would also expect majority of the application being processed. So this is also for everybody else who is probably having the similar question in terms of when will my application get processed. Now, there is a movement. There is already a lot of movement. A lot of applications are being processed. A lot of medical requests are going in. So let, let me talk about two or three different things. Firstly, let me talk about people whose COPR is expired. They received a remedical request with the remedical request they were asked to sort of complete their medicals. In some cases, they were asked to do their police clearance. And in some cases, they were asked to do their Schedule A, to, up, to upload or update their Schedule A. If you have completed all these requirements and sent it to IRCC, then in a, it's a good possibility that between three to five months after you have been completed, you can expect your passport request. That is the timeline I have seen over the last few weeks. Okay. Second case is of people who are receiving remedical requests now. So basically their, their applications are in process. They are now receiving remedical requests. Now those, if you are receiving remedical requests, the understanding or the assumption usually is that they are now deciding to finalize the application. They had earlier also asked some people for remedical requests, but then they did not process them further because there was a lot of changes in the way IRCC was finalizing the applications or where the uh, priority was, okay? So the priority, first let me talk about priority and then we will talk about how quickly the applications are gonna be processed. So priority basically was in 2021, the priority was to land as many people as possible to reach their annual quota of 401,000 landed immigrants. Now, too, when I'm saying land, it is not a physical landing. It's not like you take come off a plane and land in Canada, that landing. Landing basically is a term used where they, they formalize, they finalize an application's status to now becoming a landed immigrant, okay? So you could be a temporary resident. Uh, you could be a temporary resident in Canada. You could be a student worker in Canada, but you are a temporary resident. They are now conducting virtual landings. If you have applied for PR application, you will be sent an email. You will be asked whether you are in Canada. If you confirm you are in Canada, you'll be sent a portal request where again, you will confirm you are in Canada. And once you've con confirmed your portal request, you will then be sent with the COPR. That is the virtual landing process. So they are landing people, okay? So the target for this year was to land as many people as possible so that they can meet their target of 4 lakh 1,000 because in 2020, they were not able to meet that target and they were off by nearly 48%. They are now well on their way of achieving their target. They are, we are still 40 days short. There is, they have, I think the landed immigrant target number is in the range of 330,000 or something. They still need to go about 70,000 plus something. So uh, in October itself, they did about 42, 44,000 landed immigrants as well. So they, with November and December in hand, they have to do the maximum number of people. With this attention that the priority is only to land these people, the priority to give passport requests to people who will not come to Canada this year and hence will not add to this priority or add to this objective is quite low on the priority list. And therefore, we are not seeing that big chunk 
of application processing being done. I had thought that they would have already done majority of it and therefore the expectation was. So while a lot of visa officers are being reassigned to their positions, they were into TR to PR applications, they were doing the public policies, they were handling the majority chunk of the CEC applications, they are now being reassigned back to their positions as and when they get there or rather as and when they start you know, going back to their normal uh, assignment of duties, you will see more and more and more applications being processed or being finalized, which have been done. But the understanding is that majority of these applications will get processed towards December or towards early next year, whereby then these people can come to Canada and add to the landed immigrant quota of next year. So that is the is the logic behind the some of these uh, processes still being held back and not being released the way they should be. It's just a matter of priority. So uh, as I was saying, the people who have been getting medical requests, Yes, you will see a lot of movement. You will see that your application will be a lot of, you'll keep getting a lot of ghost updates when you do your remedicals and from there on. And hopefully you start getting passport requests December, Jan, Feb, March onwards, and you will see a lot of movement there. So that basically is the two different application types, which are still in, in the bit of quandary and wondering when will I get my passport request. So if you are 2018, 2019, 2020 applicants, you should start seeing this. If you haven't received remedical requests, if your medicals have not been extended, you would start looking forward to this pro towards the end of this year, as in December, and then early first quarter of next year is when you will see the biggest, biggest chunks of applications going through because that's what is going to happen. I mean, it's, it's more logical to understand that this is what's going to happen. Please do follow me on TikTok if you're not already doing it. I promise, I promise, promise i'm going to put more and more and more videos there which are going to be helpful of course if you are looking to book an appointment to discuss your application your case one-on-one -on -one, then that is the link we do have a new website check out the new website as well uh if you're not following us on instagram then that's the link and absolutely absolutely don't forget to subscribe to this channel we want to see those numbers going up and i am not seeing those likes coming through smash hulk smash on your keyboard on the like button and let's see those numbers going up thank you so much for joining in i really appreciate your time and i shall see you next time until then stay safe take care